Well, hey, my name's Cameron. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, I'm gonna talk about the cost of owning a used Tesla Model 3. Um, I purchased this used Tesla Model 3 back in June of this year, um, and it's currently September. So um, I wanted to look back at my previous uh, power bills, electricity bills, um, and look at the difference between when I was owning a gas car versus now, um, and then even we took a road trip uh, back in July. Uh, so I wanted to go over the cost of supercharging, uh, you know, road tripping in a Tesla. So I've had about four months of energy uh, to kind of go back and look between 2022 and 2023. Uh, so I can show you exactly how much energy um, I've increased my usage, obviously, uh, but I can really show you how much uh, increase I have use and what that translates to uh, an energy cost. Um, I do live in the state of Tennessee and um, it seems like my cost of kilowatt hours kind of changes. It goes back and forth. Uh, it's pretty close. It's between 11 and 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, I don't know where my energy comes from for my location. From what I've Googled, uh, it says nuclear, but I, I don't know what that means or how, what that means. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so starting in June of 2022, I used 958 kilowatt hours. Uh, that was $129.37, and that is 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, and then if you look at June of 2023, um, I used 996 kilowatt hours. So that was $130.76. That was the same 13 cents per kilowatt hour. June probably really doesn't count because I bought my car at the very beginning of June uh, and my power bill runs until like the 13th or 14th. So that's really only a couple weeks of uh, usage with my Tesla. Um, so moving on to July of 2022, um, I used 1,079 kilowatt hours in that month. Uh, that was $154.78, so that equates to $0.14 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, and this is, you know, like I said, uh, it shows the difference in energy cost if you look at July of 2023. Uh, I used 1,252 kilowatt hours, uh, so that equated to $139.57, and that equates to $0.11 cents per kilowatt hour. So I used more energy. I used almost 200 kilowatt hours more uh, in the month of July compared to last year, but it was cheaper for some reason. So I ended up saving like 15 bucks, even though I used more energy. Um, August is kind of where we really, August and September show the difference a lot more. Um, in August of 2022, I used 1,091 kilowatt hours that equated to $160.09, so that was 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, and then August of 2023, I used 1,472 kilowatt hours, uh, so that was $177.44, that was 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, so I used about 300-ish more uh, kilowatt hours in the month of August compared to the year prior. Uh, September of 2022, I used 968 kilowatt hours, and that was $129.95, so that was 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, and then September of this year, I used 1,552 kilowatt hours, which was $179.41, and that was 11 cents per kilowatt hour. I'm thinking probably the more energy I use, it might go down per kilowatt hour um, because again I mean I used close to 600 kilowatt hours extra in the month of September um, but it was a cheaper rate uh, so for my budget my weekly budget um, I I average around 50 bucks more a month I'm gonna say um, again this is only what four months worth of data um, so I'm only um, a third of the way through the year but that's my plan uh, I think you know budgeting around 50 bucks a month for gas uh, for my car is uh, what I'm gonna do back whenever I had my uh, my previous car was a Honda Accord and 
I was spending around 40 bucks a week uh, on gas. And that would go, that would take me about 400 miles, but it was 40 bucks a week. There's four weeks in a month. So I was spending about 160 bucks a month on gas. Whereas now I'm spending about 50. Um, I did want to go over the data for a road trip. So we took a road trip back in July uh, from our house in Tennessee um, down to Cocoa Beach in Florida. That was a 675 mile road trip. So on the way there, we this was my first road trip with the Tesla. So I followed exactly what the computer and the display told me to do. And it was very uh, cautious. It was very conservative with its numbers. So it made us stop more, um, but we got there safer, I guess you could say. It would get us to a charger with about like 12 to 15% left. Um, whereas you could maybe push it a little bit more. Uh, might not be as safe, but you know. So on the way there, I followed what the computer told me to do. Whereas on the way back, uh, I planned the trip myself. It ended up being cheaper, but because we stopped less. Um, but let's go over that. So our road trip there, we spent $67.83 in supercharging to go 675 miles. Um, so that equates to about 10 cents per mile. Now on the way back, um, it was $53.79 to go 675 miles, which is seven cents per mile. So what I did on the way home is I used a better route planner um, and I put in uh, my car. You can tell it how far your range is, uh, what your degradation is on your Tesla or your electric vehicle. Um, and it will map out the, the trip for you based on if you want the quickest arrival if you want the shortest amount of stops um, you know it, you can really customize that to go any way that you want uh, so I did it to where we had the fewest amount of stops but we were there longer um, so yeah we we took less stops and we spent less money um, there was only one uh, supercharging like between chargers it was like 175 miles or something between chargers that it wanted me to do um, and that was a little bit sketchy for this car um, I ended up I charged to a hundred percent we were at Bucky's uh, in Florida and I charged a hundred percent because you know we were eating breakfast kind of checking out the place Bucky's is pretty awesome uh, so we charged to 100% there and then it was 175 miles to the next stop and we got there with like 2%, 1%. Like it was kind of sketchy. I was kind of drafting behind some semi trucks. I was a little bit scared, but that was the only time that I was, you know, really scared. The rest of the time uh, with a better route planner, you can put what you would like to arrive uh, to a charger with. So I have it set to like 7%, 5%, something like that. Uh, to arrive to a charger whereas again you know the tesla uh, in in car route planning is a lot more conservative you'll get there with you know 15 20 percent sometimes um so you can do it either way the way i did it on the way back i don't know that i would do that again i'd probably uh, do it somewhere in the middle to where it's a little bit more safe so looking at home charging in general um i have i've added up all the months of uh, my usage and I am getting around 11 cents per kilowatt hour if you add up you know this this year these last four months add up you know all four and then divide it wherever you get the median so it's 11 cents per kilowatt hour so to fill up my car theoretically from zero percent to a hundred percent is 41 kilowatt hours so that would be about $4.51 to go about 160 miles. Uh, so that equates to about two cents per mile, you know, just daily driving this car, plugging it in every night. Um, whereas if you're going on a trip and you're supercharging, I just did it for this uh, road trip, you know, down to Florida and back. So these, these costs are just really from Tennessee to Florida uh, we went from Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. So, you know, that Southern United States, 
supercharging was about 34 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, so that equates to $13.94 to go 160 miles ish. So that equates to about eight cents per mile. Um, and then just for fun, I wanted to look at my, my uh, car that I had before this. Again, it was a Honda Accord. Um, I would get about 32 miles per gallon. Um, gas right now in the state of Tennessee, I looked it up. The average is about $3.36 per gallon. Uh, my Honda Accord would take 12 gallons. So that would be $40.32 to go about 400 miles. So that equates to about 10 cents per mile. Uh, so supercharging and gas are really, you know, about the same. It's not that different, but you know, you're only going to be supercharging on a road trip. So for me, I'm only going to be supercharging like every couple of months, maybe. I don't really go on a whole lot of trips, um, but whenever I do, that's, you know, it's, it's going to be close to the cost of gas. Whereas home charging, you know, every day is significantly cheaper. It's one fifth the cost of gas. So um, yeah, that's the cost of owning a Tesla. I'm, again, I'm very happy that I got this car. This is the most, uh, this is my favorite car that I've ever had. And uh, I really enjoy driving it. I enjoy the software, um, everything about it. And it's saving me money monthly. So um, if you guys like this video, just hit the like button below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.